Hey there everybody, this is Ira and I'm back with another new little indie game. This one is called Wood Boy and it's a teeny tiny little indie game uh, with an interesting sort of concept. I did jump in and just give it a quick test just to make sure everything worked. Um, not the most polished little indie game that I've played. It is definitely a, a you know, maybe somebody's first game or, or you know, somebody who is, is uh, just getting into making games would be my guess. Uh, so I'll probably have some feedback for the developer in here, as well as uh, information for you to see if you would like to try it. I am playing with the Xbox 360 gamepad. I do need to use the D-pad. Uh, it does not register the joysticks at all so far, but uh, it does seem to have gamepad support, so that's good. As always, we look in the options, and unfortunately, not a lot of options here. Uh, I did put it in full screen mode, so I could change it back to window if I want to. There's the scale. Uh, language is misspelled, <laughs> so that's always a good start. That should be a, a G there, not a J at the end. Um, no sound options at all, which uh, is not the best. The sound is really, really loud. I will be definitely turning it down. I've turned my speakers down for recording, and I will be turning the audio down for the video's sake, but be aware. Um, very loud audio in this that you can't turn off or turn down. And uh, if you are going to try the game and it's too loud, uh, you can always use your Windows system, if you're on Windows, of course, you can use your, your Windows system, uh, uh, in the tray there's a volume thing and everything, but it's, you gotta take the extra step, basically. So, a little bit unpolished right from the start, but I do like the graphics and stuff. Let's jump into the game itself, that's what you're here for. Let's see some gameplay. Okay. So this is Rachel, she says, yes it worked, it's alive! I guess that's all she has to say. <laughs> Okay, so I can move around. I am Wood Boy. Oh, the joystick does work now. It just didn't work in the menu, okay? Uh, so this is you, you're Wood Boy. Um, and as you can see, all the controls on the on the screen are in gamepad. Uh, so a, Y to drop, X to use. And I think that's the case if I switch to the keyboard. Yeah, it still shows gamepad only. So the, the developer really expects you to play with a gamepad. <laughs> Be aware of that. Uh, so let's talk, Rachel. Please, you have to help us. An evil wizard arrived and dried the river, the, dried the water of the river. Okay. That's all you have to say? No advice? Nothing? Why am I- Why do you think I'm gonna be able to help you? I'm made of wood. I don't have any access to water. Rachel, you didn't think this plan through. A to interact with the world, X to use the tool equipped, Y to drop the tool equipped. So not only does the uh, developer expect you to have a gamepad, but you are expected to specifically have an Xbox style game. <laughs> After five days, the wood boy will run out of magic and it will die. That's it. That's all we get. Oh no. Drama. Terrifying. Um, let's go outside. Okay. Um, I like the house. I like the graphics. I, I am wondering if maybe some of these are stock graphics or if these are uh, handmade for the, by the developer. I am not sure. Um, but we do have this issue, which is one that I found when I started at the game before. There's no indication that this is the- we just get invisible walls at the edge of the world here. So, if there's any hidden areas or something, you're gonna have to just go everywhere, and I'm not gonna do that. Um, but it's Monday. We have five days. There's something here. Tro Troy the tree. <laughs> the river is dry. Please give me some water so I can grow like my brothers. That should be a capitalized I there. I am gonna do a little bit of, uh, editing. Well, we got flowers. We can take the flowers. So presumably if you follow the path, uh, but it doesn't tell me how many flowers I already have. So, just gotta remember, I guess. Um, but we've got, we've got five days, and I think the essential gameplay loop here is that this is, um... Sort of a puzzle. It's a puzzle that you have to keep playing and replaying. I feel like it probably takes a little inspiration from games like Minute. Where you have a certain amount of time to get to the end of the game, and you have to keep replaying it until you figure out how to do it. My crops are dying because the river is dry. The only... The only who has water, <laughs> I should say the only one who has water, is that old man who is stealing our money. Well, it's not nice. Is it you? Are you the, wa the, the money thief? Old man Barney. Hey, son, do you want some water? Then show me 15 golden coins. X, buy water. Well, that doesn't work. Doesn't work if I press X now either. Controls are a little bit, a little bit fiddly, honestly. Um, wait, what? Oh, that's the riverbed, okay. I thought that was the road. It's not. 
It's a dried riverbed, and apparently we can't step in it even though it's dry. I want to see what's in this cave. There's a monster. Um, got some things here. Talk. Sir Ronald. Please rescue me, I'm starving. Sure. Did it work? It did not. I don't know how to rescue you, buddy. I'm sorry. There's a monster down here. I don't have any way to fight. Do I just have to dodge a lot? Um, I don't see any way to, uh... I don't see any way to find the solution. So here, here here's the, th the deal. If I get past that monster there, is there more to this cave? Or is the edge of the screen just... the end? Can't go there. Ow. Yeah, that's just the end. Can't do anything to that guy. Running low on hearts. Okay. So maybe I'll find that code somewhere else in the world? Perhaps? Could be. That's where it came from. Okay. So yeah, the game could use a lot better signaling. Where you can go, uh, where the edges are, and things like that. Came up here. It's just the market. Alright, I think I've done all there is to do on this screen. I've got 12 coins. How many do I need? 15 to buy some water. But I think the idea is that you want to, uh... How many flowers do I have? I think the idea is that you want to get the river running again. You don't just want to buy water from that old man. Heather, I am making a bouquet of flowers for our king. Bring me one flowers and I will give you some coins. Okay, but I have a whole bunch of flowers. But I have- I'm trying- I want to give you flowers and I don't know how! Oh. Drop. Bumpers. Back button. No. Okay, well that didn't work. Um, can I not go this way? I guess I can't go this way. Presumably I can't go that way, I guess I have to follow the road. This road takes you to the castle, but it will take a day to get there. I can take you there if you pay me 12 golden coins. Well, I happen to have exactly 12 golden coins. Um, oh, I'm just looking at Gabriel's face right now. That's a... Uh, interesting style. I hope that's not what it looks like. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment anymore. Now, this is weird. I think you have to actually press X now. Like, in the middle of the menu. In the middle of a conversation, you have to press X. It's really kind of odd. Odd control scheme. I made it to the castle! Hey! You must have come to buy one of my famous healing potions. I don't have any money, so no. I have not. You look weak. Maybe one of my weapons can help you. I would love a sword. If you don't have money, you can help me with the rats in the basement. Okay, where's the basement? 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 I guess this is a basement. <laughs> okay, I like this. Oh my goodness, the standard RPG trope. Help me with the rats in the basement. You go down and there's giant mutated rats that could kill a person. Not here. It was just mouse traps. Go bait the mouse traps. <laughs> I did it. A day passes. Oh, it's Tuesday. Now you look strong. Your enemies will fear you for sure. Yeah, I got a sword! Kaboom! Swish swish! It's a tiny sword, it's like a knife more than a sword, isn't it? I'm gonna crown! Okay, <laughs> sure. Um, am I the king now? The queen? The ruler? I don't understand. Wait, 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 wait! Did I just see... <gasps> I found a secret! down here. Hey! How you doing, buddy? Please don't look at me. I am a shame for the kingdom. <laughs> this is kind of awkward phrasing, but okay. I understand what you're getting at. Everyone expects great things from me, but I'm not like my father and I will never be. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I read your journal. <laughs> Dusty book. You need the souls of three legendary warriors to open the portal. Goodness. Okay. 
Well, I mean, can I do anything for you? I guess not. Bye. Fun hiding in the basement. This place has two basements. So, apparently to break pots who hit them with a sword, which is interesting. I would have expected something different, but whatever. At least I can do that now. Okay. Hey, is there a person in here? Whoosh. Swish. Can I talk to you? I can! Good morning. It's such a nice Tuesday, isn't it? Not capitalized. Tuesday doesn't be capitalized. Come on now. Give me ten coins and I will tell you what I've seen. Everybody wants money! And the eyes are never capitalized. The days of the week are never capitalized. This path is dangerous. Don't go disarmed. <laughs> unarmed. The word is unarmed that you're looking for. Developer, if you're watching this, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. You've obviously worked very hard on this game. And that's great, but you did make a lot of mistakes, and I do happen to be a writer and an editor. And uh, I was an English teacher for a long time, so it's my my instinct to, uh, to correct all of these things. Disarmed, for anyone who does not know the difference. Uh, if you have a weapon and somebody takes it from you, you are disarmed. If you never had a weapon, then you are just unarmed. Disarmed is specifically if somebody has taken your weapon away. Well, I'm armed. Oh, it's these, it's these jerks. I don't like you. Oh, I can walk across this one now? Swish! <laughs> now we're gaming. Oh! I wasn't close enough. You really gotta be right up on top of them to hit them, don't you? There we go. A day- What do you mean a day passes? Why is it- Why is time passing? Water for the people! Wait, what? Did I do it? I did it! I win! Wednesday... A day passes. Oh, that's right. Takes a day to walk here. Did I do it? Game over? I win? King's crown. Okay, now we have a deal. Wait, what? What? I don't even know who you are, dude! <laughs> it's just... King... Yeah, I get a key to something. Interesting. Well, I win, don't I? My daughter's dying? She needs a medicine? Please, I need your help. What the... What the heck? I'm on my last day, folks. What's going on? What? I thought the whole point of the game was to get the water back to this place. Apparently, there's more, there's more to the story. Did I put you out of business, jerk old man? Now that the river has water, nobody buys a drop. Well, selling water is immoral. The river is full of water. Our king must have solved the problem. Yeah, sure. I don't know who you are, buddy. That's... odd. Hmm. Another flower. But I, I still can't sleep to give it to... this lady, right? A day passes. Why did a day pass? And I'm dead. <laughs> the lich is alive, so it has killed everyone in the town? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Um... Okay. Well, the purpose of this game is different than I thought it was. <laughs> Alright, um, I am gonna- I am gonna end it there. I could do another loop and see what else we can find, but, um... You know, if, if you want to play this game, I don't want to spoil it, since it is a sort of a puzzle type. It doesn't look like there's gonna be a lot of replayability. It seems like once you figure out how to- how to solve the game, um... That's probably it. So, if you like the look of it and you want to support a, a new developer who uh, who is is working real hard to make some some cool stuff, um, Woodboy is available on Steam, and I'll throw a link in the description. Um, if you're the developer of this game, um, nice work. You got a good start here. I do think it needs more polish. I do think you need uh, to find somebody who can proofread the writing and can help you with stuff um, like, you know, just get some testers to help you with things like, oh, it's not clear that you can't go this way, or it's not clear what you need to do here, that sort of stuff. Um, but I like the concept of it. I think it's a cool concept of having this sort of puzzle gameplay. Again, sort of like Minute, but a different style. Um, so yeah, there you go, that's Woodboy. And if this one is absolutely not interesting to you at all, this is not your cup of tea, do not worry, my friends, I will be back soon with another new indie game. And you never know, that one might just turn out to be your new favorite game of all time. Thanks very much for watching, folks, and I will see you next time. Bye!